So now we're going to talk about maximize clicks. This is an automated strategy. Uh, it's my default automated strategy. It's the number one strategy I go to if I'm kind of unsure what the bid should be, even if I have conversion tracking in place. Chris, break down maximize clicks. Okay, so maximize clicks falls under one of two categories. And I'll try and let's say, Jason, everything we talk about, the first four we talk about are going to be automated bid strategies. So the first four are automated bid strategies, maximize clicks falls under automated. And what that means is every time we talk about automated, it means that you cannot make micro decisions about ad group and or keyword adjustments in, in small increments. Uh, you can make suggestions in some cases, not in maximize clicks, uh, but in some cases we'll talk about in the future. Um, you can make suggestions on how things are uh, bid, but maximize clicks is not one of those. You set maximize clicks, and what Google does is it says, all clicks are created equal. I will not push some higher than the others. I will get the lowest CPC that I can get despite match type, despite quality, despite all of, you know, whatever brings in conversions, it doesn't care. It's just going to get the most clicks for what it can. For the budget. For the budget. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So maximize clicks reading from their documentation here. Um, automated bid strategy that sets your bids to help get as many clicks as possible within your budget. Uh, if you want, you can put a maximum CPC bid limit on there and tell the system not to pay more than a certain amount uh, or not to bid more than a certain amount. Yes. I mean, what, Chris? Like, what? What else? It's pretty <clears throat> pretty simple, I right? Mean, so the name of the episode is What's the Best? So let's, you know, let's say, let's go through two suggestions, you know, when to use and when not to use. So number one, when to use max clicks. My suggestion uh, is you're just getting started in Google Ads. I like maximize clicks because yeah, well, the where where do you think the name Max comes from? What, like some people are born with the name Max, boys are mm -hmm. born with the name Max because they're born into the world. They're new, just like your Google oh, Ads wow. campaign. When you have a new what Google a Ads campaign, when you're in okay. a what stretch are you talking about? That's where you can look <laughs> it up. That's where the name Max comes from. It comes okay. from. It's inspired by the maximum clicks bid strategy in google ads you didn't know that like a, i thought you no, did this I, professionally what are you talking about you didn't know that okay no that sounds like fake history to me but it uh, could be fake history i could also spin this into like a you know cocktail party talk like what do you do for a living well i'm a, i work in google ads and uh um you know maximize I, clicks what it, oh your name is max let me tell you oh, about the maximize gosh. Clicks bidding strategy. You'd, be, you'd be a blast <laughs> Oh, there's yeah, I'd be fake. better than you. You just sit there yeah, and stare at them and tell no, them. I wouldn't be there. I work on computers or I computer <laughs> repair, whatever weird, quirky <laughs> industry that you do that you tell people. <laughs> I should say. Oh, man. No. Um, you, start I, you look like a computer repair guy. Thank you. Especially when you're wearing those shorts people, and those people do well. Those people do well nowadays. They do well. Yeah. Everyone needs a computer. They don't do well now, with me. No, I just, just throw buy, it over you just my buy shoulder. Buy a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just every time. That. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Delete something? No. Repair yeah. something? No. Um, All right. Well, I mean, so Chris, my take is when to use it is when you don't know, and it's a perfect strategy for when you don't know what the bid should be in your industry. You don't know. It's absolutely perfect. Now. We should say this with all bidding strategies. There's like a sometimes it's a few hours, sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's like three days, I think. Um, learning phase, you can see that at the status column at the campaign level. And you may turn this on, you turn it on, and then you may get zero clicks the first day, mm. zero clicks the second day. And then all of a sudden it learns what the bid level should be for your keywords, your website, everything, your, your location. And then all of a sudden you might start spending your full budget if the search volume is out there yeah. and you'll see the clicks come in. But for me, Chris, maximize clicks, two uses. One, brand new account, brand new industry, not sure what you should bid. Your answer is max clicks. Second thing is sometimes when you just need to do a little bit of a refresh for the first time, you got all conversion tracking in place from the first time you woke up and went from some dumb squeeze pay stra strategy to a beautiful local business full website strategy and everything's new and you're going to start getting a bunch of data, maximize clicks. Um, that's when, when I use it. What about you, Chris? Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I like it when I, you know, just getting started. Um, also, you know, if, 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 if you're running all broad match keywords, um, that might be another opportunity to, to use max clicks. And Jason, I say that because we just recently had a discussion about, you know, when broad match keywords are working, you yes, know, because yes. we do know they work sometimes. Um, it's not all the time, but certainly it does happen. So, you know, it, if, 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 intuition about your bid levels is kind of out the window because broad match keywords just kind of just get you out there and you don't know how it's working, but it works. Um, max clicks would be great. So let's flip the table on this. Hey, one more, Chris, I'm going to argue when you don't have all conversion tracking in place. Okay. There you go. Yep. Cause the other option or, is max conversions or target. What about the, some? Let's talk. Like, let's talk about that uh, when uh, okay. we talk about maximized convergence. I'm going to say okay. uh, a question. I'm going to add this to the notes because it really is a question. Like, do you want to optimize even though you have some convergence in place? It's it's a discussion we need to flesh yeah. out. But yeah, okay. so I think we're in the same place. One final thing, Chris, before when we go to don't use for maximized convergence. What about the bid limit? Do you put that on there? Because I oh, see absolutely. a lot of advertisers when they contact me, they put that on there. You put it on there? Absolutely, I do. Um, I don't know if I would suggest if you're just getting started to put one on there, but at some point I do suggest it because really? I, do, I think there needs to be a cap. Wow. Because I, I, you just I, like I, control. I, you like control. Yeah. You like, you can't give it up. I know because I, if I, if I go to all time and I sort by, you know, highest um, PPC average PPC, I see stuff that is terrifying on the, you know, average CPC for some, some clicks. So I need some mm. kind of wow. limit in place. All right. But, but again, if you're brand new, if you don't Dying. Oh, yeah. There's a cough for you. Something that, going on there. Cough like a man. That's good. Hey, Google, Google, relax. I'm about to say, take the limit yeah. off. You know, I, they they weren't going to let me speak <laughs> there. The, the wiring went went bad. Yeah, I'm about buzzed. to promote not putting on the limit. But I was going to say, I have seen some crazy things when you put on max clicks. Sometimes it's a little surprising how high the average CPC can go. Sometimes, yeah, compared mm -hmm. to what you were doing manually. But I think what happens sometimes is you might have a very competitive, very expensive keyword tucked inside somewhere into in your campaign. Maybe you weren't bidding on it that much with your it wasn't, manual. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you hand over the keys to Google. They'll find that very expensive, very competitive keyword and they'll do what they need to do with it to get you max clicks and your cost per click will go up. So I have seen that. But I would say if you are new to an industry, I like taking the cap off and just seeing seeing where we are because someone the risk is someone's going to put the cap on way too low mm. and not get any volume or not get yes. the volume they could be getting. You're absolutely right. And it's like if they put it in a five dollar cap and the average CPC is actually going to come in at like eight dollars and eight dollars actually changes their business life and gets them great leads from Google Ads forever and they would have never known it because they put in a cap of five. Risk and reward. That's not a smart thing to do. So yeah. Um, the other thing is you can always put the cap on later. So. Mm -hmm. the wiring i just got the all clear there we we're, go. we're good to keep yeah. talking yeah You're all right talk. all right yeah they're not gonna mess with my throat again oh that's good ai you know it's more advanced than uh people yeah. realize kind of creepy a little on you yeah. but uh yeah. let's 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 at least i know here. it you don't even know it yeah i don't even know where the yeah, connection is i haven't know found it, it but but it is it, happening with you some yeah. weird spot um, what should you not use max so clicks? not using max clicks i'll tell you this um if you're mixing match types so to say it another way, if you have broad keywords, phrase keywords, exact match keywords, and some of them have different value to, to you uh, than others, then I definitely would not use max clicks because where's Google going to go? They're going to go with the broad terms. That's what you're going to get the most spend on. You may see absolutely nothing from other match types. And that, that you know, you that may not be something that you intend. So I'm going to be, be a, a little more positive, but you did say maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe they do bid up phrase and exact a lot higher than broad. Maybe. It's possible. But the thing is, they're looking at keywords and they're looking at the cost per click for that keyword, not necessarily that keyword match type, I think. So we don't necessarily know. So yeah, you got to watch out for that. I would layer onto that, Chris. When you're mixing funnel strategies, you yeah. want to be a little bit careful with maximized clicks because mixing funnel strategies and manual bidding, those things go together because you can have full control. This keyword converts great. This advert ad group converts great. I'm going to bid higher for it. This one converts horribly, but it still gets volume. So I'm going to bid a lot lower for it and get the cost per lead that I want. 
you do that manually, the system on Maximize clicks when it's not looking at conversion data at all, it's not going to be that nuanced and um, you're not going to have control over the different funnels uh, that you're ever different parts of the funnel that you're advertising to in your campaign. That's where it yeah. gets tricky. And one, one example of what Jason's talking about is you have things about, uh, you know, you're, you're a plumber, something like that. And you have keywords around uh, plumbing services near me. Right. And then you have another one about how to fix broken toilet. Right. That's a different level of the funnel interest versus, um, you know, awareness versus, you know, ready to purchase kind of levels. They make a massive difference in how much volume there is out there. There'll be a whole lot more how to. And I guarantee you maximize clicks between those two. It will go for the cheapest traffic. That's what it's that's what it's programmed to do. And the cheapest traffic will typically be the highest level of the sales funnel. It'll be the how to stuff. It'll be the how do I, how can I, why do type of stuff like that, that um, will be cheap. 